hello hello good evening hello yan so medyo kinakapa ko pa yung facebook live on managing uh, on facebook page sanay kasi ako before na personal lang eh so medyo malaki yung pinagkaiba niya so hello good evening I posted content uh, yesterday so syempre yung mga usual listeners and usual viewers ko nagaabang din so Here's something that I, I just want to post from last year. So, kung lang makita. So, anyway, sa mga hindi pa nakakilala sa akin at sa ngayon lang, ma, sa ngayon lang ako mapapanood, I'm Coach Julian or Coach TJ, whichever it is easier to say. I'm a life coach, a martial arts practitioner, a marine engineer by profession, an educator, and anim an animal lover by heart. Some would even call me or describe me as animalistic. <laughs> well, this is the flavor. May pagka-animal minsan. <laughs> so, yan. So, yan. You're all wel welcome to to view, yan, to stay, to talk, to engage. Okay lang. So, looking back a year ago, nang matagal ko iniisip kasi kung ano ba talagang una ko ilalagay na content. Kaya medyo uh, hesitant ako. Anyway, hindi dahil nag like, life coach na or sabi natin emotionally more aware na kami. Eh hindi pa rin kami nakakaramdam ng kaba. <laughs> hindi pa rin kami uh, hindi na kami nakakaramdam ng ano ng bugnot. We still have those. So, looking back a year ago, ang dami nangyari sa totoo lang. Uh, let me just recount. Um, August 2020. Let's start from August na lang. It, it was by July that I quit my job from Bataan. August, so after a month, medyo nakakaramdam na ako nun ng ano, nakakaramdam na ako ng ano talaga, bugnot kasi wala kang trabaho eh. Your supply, your, your money, your supplies, syempre may binabayaran ka, may mga bills. It tends to get to you. Wala pa naman vaccine back then, so ingat na ingat lahat. Siyempre, may dalawa akong senior na kasama sa bahay, so I can't risk it. Though, siyempre, ako yung lumalabas sa mga malengke. So, I was putting all my energies into that, into keeping them safe. But still, I don't have a, a stable job. Uh, I got I got an online job, pero it's not enough to pay everything. So, siyempre, it still weighs on me kasi coming from, coming from a profession na kaya mong saluhin lahat, then you're suddenly crippled. Ang hirap. Ang hirap. Kaya, doon ano, doon ako medyo sakit ang loob. Come September 2020, lumalala, talagang nag-ano na, nagsaspike na. Hindi na ako makatulog sa gabi. Parang sabi nga ni Tutsi Gibara, hindi na ako makatulog sa gabi sa kakaisip. <laughs> well, that's true. Sometimes I feel that I'm hyperventilating. Sumasakit ang ulo ko, sumasakit yung bibdib ko. Kasi, matutulog ako. I try to sleep at around 11, around this time, 12. Makatulog ako niya ng mga 1 or 2 talaga. Just because I'm thinking. I, I'm fantasizing of having that much money na hindi na ako kailangan maglalala. But, I still have to go back to reality. Wala eh. Every time I check my bank account, Four digits lang siya. Nababawasan. <laughs> Nababawasan pa. Kasi kailangan dami kang binabayaran. So, yung, kailan kaya ito matatapos? Kailan kaya ang makakabalik? Kailan, kailan kaya ang makakahanap? So, it's, it's uh, having that toll on me. Mabigat. By October 2020, ongoing pa rin yung pag apply ko. Usually, nag apply lang naman ako sa Upwork. Yung, yun lang naman kasi ang nahanapan ko na uh, wala ka nang ibang asikasuhin eh. All you just have to do is find a client, work for the client, and they'll track your time. Babayaran ka na nila. So, it's much more convenient. I'm still doing my chores. Nagawa ka pa rin. Uh, I made it to a point na uh, I help around the house so that I feel more purposeful. ba? Hindi na ako nakapagtrabaho na maayos, hindi pa ako tutulong sa bahay. Eh, ano naman na silbi ko, ba? I was that. I still, I still experience breakdowns paminsan-minsan. Karap ako sa screen magdamag, looking for work, uh, watching things on YouTube so that, one, 
I may distract myself to baka naman matutunan akong bago so I took up yun, nag kumuha ako ng mga courses pero hindi rin naging fruitful kasi it's not what I want to do nag apply apply din ako umabot ako sa mga umabot din ako sa mga interviews final interviews pero hindi ako nakalampas then syempre ano na nun eh wala 2 months na magka 3 months na wala ka pa trabaho or kulang yung kinikita mo masakit then come November 2020 itong a year ago I was already I was already training for a virtual assistance company okay naman so far I'm making through the test nakakapasa by my computation papasa ako abot ako sa ano nila standard. However, yung isa sa mga aso namin na dapat ipapagamot, na dadaling ko kinabukasan after my evening shift kasi from 9 to 7 yun. Namatay. Hindi na namin nadala sa vet. So, sabi ko, hindi, tama na. Uh, hindi na pwede. Nagpaalam na ako dun sa trainer namin. Sabi ko, hindi na ako hindi na ako babalik kasi I'm feeling the symptoms of burn I feel burnt out the final straw was yung isa sa mga aso namin labrador namin yung pinakamalaki namatay and syempre hindi ko naman pwede asa sa nanay ko yung maghukay sa likod bahay so syempre bugnot ka na pagod puyat hindi mo alam kung <laughs> kung may soswell doing ka pa afterwards while digging that grave and asar na asar ako kasi ang daming bato dun sa likuran namin dahil pinatambakan yun dati hindi siya ordinaryong bato yung mga simento, mga tepak-tepak while digging that talagang sabi ko hindi tama na I'll take a rest, I'm already burnt out bahala na pagdating ng Christmas New Year may trabaho pa naman ako eh. so after that I slept sa mga loob ko, uh, mabigat uh, I don't have a job I lost my dog I feel worthless and parang pagsasakloban eh this might have uh, dito, it, this might trigger some but I did experience uh, suicidal ideation nun naiisip ko na talaga na one time para bang kailan ba? siguro tatalo na lang ako sa tuloy mo may ganun or paano? How, how would I make my passing more convenient for my parents? Nag-iisip ako nun, kasi talagang sobrang bigat na eh. But still, I continued. My mother was there. She was still supportive. My girlfriend was there. More than supportive. Siya yung tumatanggap ng, ano, siya yung nakakatanggap ng sungit ko. Siya yung, siya yung nandyan. Sila. So, I still continued struggling until I found help. Uh, made contact with with coach Miko Legaspi yan slowly I was introduced into life coaching I had work nagkaroon akong kliyente by January and I was happy kasi it pays well nakapagbayad ako ng maayos sa bills ko I was able to help around the house so fast forward August 2021 napasama ako sa tribe nila coach mix I met some alumni they gave, they offered me a job. Teach, pwede ka ba magturo? By then, I lost my passion. Ayoko na. Ayoko na magturo, but I offered, I was offered a job. August. Sige, sabi ko, kunin ko, sir. Sige. Just let me know when. Or let, let me know how. Sige. Uh, I, I'm eager to put food on the table. By then, medyo ma- maigi na yan ako, mental health. So, August, nag-start kami. I was rekindling my passion for teaching. Naghanap na ako ng gamit para ma-supplement yung pagtuturo ko naghanap ako yan kaya ako may whiteboard sa likod na malaki so that I can perform computations I was reviewing my old notes so it went well August prelim period ayos I, uh, I wasn't getting paid enough yet that time kasi hindi pa lahat ng trabaho nagbamaterialize but it was there I got my foot through the door September 2021 dagok <laughs> as things were just getting better nagkasakit yung parents ko and they were forced to isolate we tested positive for COVID 
September na uh, September 9 we got treated 11 we were released on the 24th pero ganun talaga pag nagka-covid eh feeling ng ano eh feeling ng feeling mo ang bigat lahat mabagal so i was taking care i was trying to keep everyone alive in the household tatatlo kami dito we have 15 dogs two cats one flower horn and 30 plus birds na partridge in a pear tree oh marami just keeping keeping them alive was more than an ordeal especially na isolate sila mama oh by october 2021 we were recovering already we're feeling back to normal na kasi talagang ano eh, there there are lingering effects hindi, hindi ko maya ano yun hindi ko maitatago yun then ayun arrange for vaccines additional vaccines pneumonia and uh flu just to make sure both my parents are ano, are safe everything changed hindi na ako lagi lumalabas for for the market uh, yun sana online lahat so Bartolina pa rin ng dalawang magulang <laughs> but October 2021 20, was much better than last year kasi uh, we we solidified something in the family yun uh, we survived it and mas lumakas ang loob ko mas lumalakas ang loob namin pero syempre nando pa rin yung takot nando pa rin yung apprehension November 2021 ito lang na itong buwan na to I suddenly remembered na o oh, nga no it has been a year so it was also in August where I stopped uh, after my public speaking class I stopped sabi ko tama muna tama na uh, I'll focus on my classes I'll focus on recovering sabi ko ilo-launch ko dapat tong page na to by September pero nagpasakit nga kami October sabi ko ayan nagpa-recover pa kami then sabi ko November ito na talaga hindi na pwede palampasin so this now I'm restarting and everything feels <laughs> everything feels new though nakakatawa kasi new beginnings talaga new beginnings so life gets harder every year you only grow stronger should you should you choose to stay diba should you choose to ask for help it does get better so yun lang yung pagbabalik tanaw ko and I, I just want to continue from from my last video na yung hiatus ko was plan marami nangyari so now I'm being back I want to be present again and I want to I just want to be here para makita nyo just to be visible and I believe it starts from there a lot a lot of problems can be solved just by being present and some are solved just by being absent diba wala ka sa wrong place and the wrong time but ayun yung I'll go into some of the detail sa susunod siguro but I just want to look back from a year ago na ang dami na nangyari you wouldn't recognize me from a year ago napakalayo so I do hope dyan sa mga lumalaban pa ngayon those who are struggling those who are those who are undergoing a lot of pressure it's okay to rest pahinga naman tayo onte diba hindi naman mawawala yun eh we can rest then we can go back at it tomorrow balikan lang natin and there's support there's help don't think or I, I know you might have tunnel vision right now na walang na walang tutulong kaya ako nagpapaka visible so that whenever you watch this video or if you see this video you'll know someone is out there uh, who has also experienced some of the things that you have experienced and they're willing to help we're willing to connect you with the right people if hindi ko kaya umulong diba know that there is someone out there okay so i hope that your your week is going well and if it's not going well i hope you'll have a better week this following monday malapit na naman ang pasko so let's get a little bit more festive and i hope that you've learned something i'll share more in the coming days midterm at kailangan magsubmit ng mga grades so <laughs> expect a few days later on so i hope that you're all doing well if you have any